I just got a really important letter in the mail. Good morning, everyone. It is an absolutely beautiful day out today. It's 52 and sunny, which for being the day after Christmas, that is absolutely gorgeous. Right now, I am just playing outside with Luna and I'm actually listening to a new audiobook. It's called The Liar's Girl and I'm listening to it on Audible and it's very suspenseful and I really like it so far. Yeah, sometimes we'll feel alone In a second I'll be right there Turn around, let it rain Turn around and let it rain on me Don't you be afraid Just got back inside from playing with Luna and I swear that girl will just never get tired. She could probably play all day outside. But I did wanna tell you guys a little bit more about the audiobook that I'm listening to. As I mentioned earlier, it's called The Liar's Girl and it's about this guy named Will Hurley. And he's like this attractive and really charming guy who goes to uh, Dublin's elite St. John's College but there's a twist, he's actually a serial killer. As you all know, I am a total book nerd. I love to read. However, I don't always have time to actually sit down and read the whole book. That's why I'm so excited that I discovered Audible because I can listen to the audiobooks and I feel like I genuinely get to know the characters more and have a deeper connection to the story because I'm actually listening to it rather than just reading it on paper. Let me tell you guys a little bit more about Audible who is so graciously sponsoring this video. Audible is the leading provider of spoken word entertainment and audiobooks. What's amazing about Audible is there are thousands of audiobook titles to choose from, from various genres such as romance, comedy, suspense, which is obviously my favorite, true crime, and so much more. There really is a listen for every moment, no matter what you're doing or where you are. I can listen while I'm working out, playing outside with Luna, or just doing day-to-day -day activities around the house. What's really cool is Audible has introduced their new Plus catalog to all of their members. All members have access to the growing Plus catalog, which has thousands of select audiobooks, podcasts, Audible originals, guided fitness and meditation programs, sleep tracks for better rest, and more. Audible members get one free credit every month, and this credit is good for the entire premium selection of new releases and bestsellers, regardless of the price. And you get to keep that credit forever. Audible is the one place you can go for any type of listen, and you can start exploring Audible with a free 30-day trial. All you have to do is go to audible.com slash jettingjulia, or text jettingjulia to 500-500 for your free 30-day trial. And I will make sure to put that link in my description box below. I really hope that you all check Audible out and let's get back to the vlog. I just uploaded our home video from Christmas and I swear watching Luna open the presents was one of the highlights of my year. It was just so cute. If you guys missed that video, I'll make sure to put that in the description box below. But a few days ago, I did receive probably the best Christmas gift that I could have asked for this year. Okay, you guys, it's Christmas Eve and I promised you all that I would keep you updated on every step of my journey back to flying and I just got a really important letter in the mail. As you all know, I received my notice online to either accept or deny my recall back to flying, but I was also told that I would get my official recall letter in the mail. And I think this is what that is. So I'm really excited to open this up with you guys. So let's see if that's what this actually is. And it is. Dear Julia, we are excited that Congress has reached a deal on a legislative package that includes an extension of the payroll support program. This package, which includes much needed funds that will help carry us through the tough winter months, allows us to recall all furloughed team members for pay and benefits. And then the letter also has a lot of other details that I believe are company specific, so I can't exactly tell you guys on YouTube, but I just think this is really cool. This is just a very, very special Christmas gift. And it's nice to have this letter as something tangible that I can hold and I can hold on to as a memento for the end of 2020. One more thing I can tell you guys though is at the bottom of the letter, it has a section that says next steps. And it says, 
Once you notify us of your decision, my decision obviously was to come back to my airline, we will contact you with more information including details on training, system access, and how to pick up your equipment and ID badges. So it sounds like that's the next thing that I will be doing and when that happens, I will make sure to let you all know. I just got to the gym. I feel like I need to get in a really good workout after relaxing over the past few days and honestly eating way too many sweets and treats. But I did wanna give you guys a car update as well. So right now I am actually driving Eric's car. We are just going to share this car for a while, at least until I am back to work. Long story short, we actually were sharing my car for a while because his car broke down right when the pandemic started, but then he was work from home and it didn't really make sense for us to have two cars. So we kind of just put his on the back burner and shared my car and now it's the opposite. So we're just gonna keep sharing this car since he is still working from home and I'm not flying yet. But eventually when I do get a new car, I will make sure to let you all know. And with all that said, let's head into the gym and get in a really good workout. I just don't want this, I just don't want this moment to end. Like a Friday night on the weekend I feel blessed and free I just don't want this moment to end But now you say you gotta go I just got done with my workout and to be honest I felt like crap the entire time I literally felt like I was gonna throw up the whole workout I think it's just too much wine and too much junk food over the past few days. I'm just not used to eating like that and then trying to work out today, I just felt really weak and really sick. So I finished my workout though, I did everything I wanted to, so I'm gonna go home, stretch, and relax for the rest of the night. Does anyone else's dog do this? Luna always loves to lay on our pillows on top of our bed. I'm home from the gym now, just hanging out with Luna. I forced myself to drink a protein shake, which honestly are not my favorite, but I do feel a little bit better, and then I'll have real dinner in probably about an hour or so, but it wasn't just me that didn't feel very good today. Little Miss Luna here threw up earlier, and I think she's feeling back to her normal self. I think it was just something that she ate and it didn't digest very well because I was actually editing this this video earlier and then all of a sudden I just heard her making that noise and just knew she was about to throw up. She threw up and then afterwards she has honestly seemed perfectly fine since then. She hasn't eaten any of her food today but that's actually pretty common for Luna. She's a very picky eater and she only eats when she really wants to. I'm going to see if there's anything new to watch on Hulu or Netflix. Eric loves watching the show Kitchen Nightmares. We've been watching the show A Teacher. It doesn't look like there's any new episodes though. And then This Is Us is one of our favorite shows, but I don't think they have any new seasons coming out until January. Maybe I'll watch this movie called The Owners. It has Macy Williams in it. And if you don't know who she is, she's the actress who played Arya Stark in Game of Thrones and Game of Thrones is the best show ever. I am a huge fan. And the description is when a group of friends break into an empty house, the elderly couple that lives there comes home early and the would-be thieves suddenly dot 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 says that it's a suspense movie but i think i need to chill with the suspense and scary movies because last night eric and i watched one it was so good i can't remember the name of it though it was about this kid who caught his dad and he was a serial killer the dad was a serial killer and the kid found out anyways wild movie really good but it did give me nightmares last night this is my dinner tonight. It's actually leftovers from Christmas Eve. We have mashed potatoes, broccoli, and steak. 
We still have our tree and all of our Christmas decorations up. Do you and your family leave up the Christmas decorations all the way through till the new year or do you take them down like the day after Christmas? I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. I feel like I'm gonna leave the lights up until January 1st, but I might slowly start putting things away over the next few days. Dinner was really good, but I am honestly exhausted. So I think I'm going to shower and then continue listening to my audiobook and get ready for bed. Which reminds me, if you guys want to check out Audible, make sure you click that link in my description box below. You can also go to audible.com slash jettingjulia or text jettingjulia to 500-500 for a free 30-day trial. So I really hope that you guys check that out. Thank you everyone so much for watching. This is my last vlog of 2020. I can't believe it. I can't thank all of you enough for sticking by me and supporting me in my channel this year. I hope that you all have a happy and safe new year and I'll see you next time. Bye!